Good morning and welcome. This is Miss T, as in Tavo <laughs> DRC, at the Barista Fellowship Fame. I am, I am Miss T, which I like. So this is Pastor T, or Tavo DRC, and this is Pam Lowy, mm -hmm. and she's my associate, and she asks me questions usually about theology, but today she's going to ask me questions. We let her decide what to ask about not theology, but about me. Yeah. Um, hello, everybody. And uh, T has had, from what our friendship, I've learned such a fascinating life. Um, and I thought it, it would be good for people to know how she got to where she is now. Okay. Um, you had talked uh, about your father. So I'd be interested in what he was like and his his inf influence on oh. you as a child. Is that yeah, right? I love it. Okay, we I haven't get, rehearsed this at all. So. Yeah, if I get missed, it's because I, <clears throat> I had such a great dad. It's, it's joy. It is. Well, my father was uh, not a famous Christian, not a famous pastor, but he was born as a Western European non-Levitical patriarch. He was born and lived in the city of Dallas, Georgia which was a microcosm when I finally visited past it after his death. Excuse me. So he grew up and I he grew up in a town that he should have been racist. He should have been accusing people, but he was not a racist at all. I never heard any what I call word curse theology. I never heard any accusation of race, religion, or any other tribe. And he was a great husband to my mother. They were friends. They were uh, they were in love and it was a great healthy non-dysfunctional role model. So when I think of my father, I think of the contrast of that it was by God's grace that I couldn't have made this happen, that I look back in my collective hard drive of life, emotional <laughs> love tank, as someone has said, and I hear peace. Mm -hmm. I hear and I feel, I see the Lord, the real Christian, the real type of real servant leader who went about doing good. Uh, he didn't cause trouble. He, <clears throat> he talked to people like they were just really natural, respectful, respectable people, all colors, all levels of society. And when I would go to the, like, in a, we lived in a little town, we had a church, and and he also taught school. I would see, I went with him at times to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. I went at times to the, when he went to the barber shop, and I was like eight or 10, and eight or nine, and he would just talk to people. He'd hear mm -hmm. their stories, the person at the cash register. He was humble, and I really, fashion what I'd like to be like uh, from my father in that way, just a, as a Christian leader. Now, he, he was a pastor? Yes. Of, how he, big was the church? This what is it. it. A lot of people are like this. A very, a smaller church. Mm -hmm. My father had grown up and he was educated. He went to Samford or whatever, Alabama, in Alabama uh -huh. and met my mother. Uh -huh. And he was a seminary graduate as well. He went to the Theological Seminary, the Baptist Seminary in in um, in Louisville, Kentucky, and I was like three years old, and mm -hmm. I just remember that time of life. But Mom had almost like her master's degree, and he had his almost like a PhD, mm -hmm. his official, uh, you know, graduate of a seminary. But it was down to earth. I knew them, and this is the big point. I saw them off the stage, and I saw them on the stage, mm -hmm. and they were the same people. And just lovely people. That that is smart, and lovely. Yeah. yeah. Now, what was what, what was his upbringing like? Well, he what, comes what from kind of similar to. I have no or? clue what Dallas, Georgia is like, but when uh -huh. I was in Dallas, Texas, for fifteen years, that's what really fanned the flame of my father. He went perfect, but it's like, wow, what a miracle to have no man, you know, person like that who was not dominating, but just very respectful and you know, intelligent Bible study scholar. So he grew up as a only child of a school teacher, his mother who was also a Bible teacher, and then his father was superintendent of schools, superintendent oh. of schools of the area, and I guess high school teacher, I don't know, but mm -hmm. my grandmother on both sides, my his grandparents, his mother was one of nine children from a, a country doctor. Oh. So all I know is that they were quality people and not, they were unsung. They weren't famous and hey, mm -hmm. everybody's equal. So your mother, 
What, what was her background? Now, my mother, <laughs> my mother had more of what one would say a pedigree. And when I was a Jesus person, about 70, going to college, about 18, I thought, I don't want to know all the pedig all your pedigree. But I knew her loving family. And they came from, I think, I know my grandfather, Augustus Tavo Simmons, had founded like seven in Alabama, Birmingham area, founded seven um, insurance companies. He played in golf tournaments. They had prizes way back when. And my grandmother had, they joined the country club and all those things, but they were Christians. That's what I meant. They are Christians. They were not, they were not slave owners. Well, they were not people who were haughty. They were, they had a, there's a difference if you got in a situation of society, handed it, let's say, but it's how you treat people. And nobody was a stranger. Nobody was unequal or biased in my family. I never heard anything. It was shocking too, because when I grew up, it was the civil rights movement and you hear all this fighting and yeah. racism on TV. But I never saw that, heard that in my house. And they were from Birmingham, Alabama for a while. So that is incredible. So my mother's side came from, um, uh, my mother's side, I don't want to write a film where we've, we've got a, oh, okay. out, but I'm interested. But mother's side had, where mom, they were Christians first. They chose Christ first. But mom was in a place, and I don't want to get into it because it doesn't, I'm not like that, it doesn't bothers me really. But mom wanted, was in a place growing up that she was going to make her debut, her, her society <laughs> debut. Okay. I never saw that side of her. I saw the pastor's uh -huh. wife, you know, but I never got into that. And on purpose, I chose to not know about relatives and stuff. I know they were Christians. And then on my grandfather's side, my mother's father's grandfather's side, you know, his side, Augustus Tebow Simmons, they founded a church called Tavo Church in Cordsville, South Carolina, mm -hmm. which is a little white church on the historical registry. And it was formed in Monk's Corner, which I think is amazing. Monk's Corner, which is maybe this energy mm -hmm. French Huguenot on that part of the family is why I do like this. So God is good, but nobody was Pentecostal. Nobody was spirit filled. Mm -hmm. Nobody was heretical that I know of. All I know is that I remember them like Billy Graham type folk. You know. Yeah. So anything else? We can make snippets of we, this. We can make snippets of this. Yeah. Um, if, if we have time, yeah. you, know, you came from, it sounds like a very secure, that loving it. family. It was it. Um, then later in life, when you faced Difficult. Well, like we all do, we all face Everybody does. difficulties. I felt how like, did, how did that yeah. help you? And exactly, we want to. We can do another part. We'll do another, another time. Part. But yeah. I want to get. But let me. That's a great question. When I grew up, I couldn't have gotten. It was by grace. God needed it for now. There was no wealth or realm. There was no Levitical patron. Mm -hmm. There was no racism. It was just like amazing in hindsight. I didn't know what I'd face later studying the body of Christ sent to study, you know, which was my choice. God said, do it. I said, yeah, that sounds fine. No problem. But back then I didn't know. Uh, all I heard was people in my, they never spoke in tongues. Nobody did. Back then I heard them, they were led by the Holy Spirit, the Methodists, Baptists, Presbyterians. I never heard all the, you know, whatever this, I never heard all these big teachings of theology. It's like, love the Lord, like Billy Graham. That's what it was. So that's how I grew up in a holy fear of the Lord, that word quality down to earth, smart people, but it was servant leadership with fun. I remember the humor in our family. Mm -hmm. Now my aunt, I'll tell you briefly, because we, we have to watch our battery on the rumble battery. here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, our storage. So my aunt had been, my mother's sister, my, my mother had a sister and a brother, she was the youngest, and so her sister was a Episcopal rector's wife for a long time, had four children, and he committed the A word on, with somebody, and they divorced, and so we took them in up in Virginia, where we'd moved for the church, and uh, lived with our cousins, their cousins lived with me for a while. And because of that, they had brought with them, my aunt was sickly, and they had brought with them an African-American nurse nanny. Mm -hmm. And she lived with us, and that was God in hindsight, because I was able to be like, hang out with everybody, or equal, everybody's fun, we had family feel, and I thought, oh, they're human. I never thought that much, but in hindsight, I think, oh, people are human, because they're human, no matter what their 
skin. So I have a lot of history of respect given to me and I want to give it back. That's all. Any other questions before we stop this one? We'll go to the, I, I, the I, harder I, part we'll do later. Yeah, that <laughs> we'll was do. my question. Yeah. My next question was what what was most challenging for you in, in your journey? But maybe we okay. should leave that for my next My most time. challenging in my journey, we'll start the part two another time where it's the more, <laughs> you know, in big part. But my most challenging per party was me until the hard part, till later, till I was 21 and on. My hard part was who am I? What am I? And I was so quiet. I was a good scholar. I did all these things. I could get good grades and everything, but I was miserable. I was trapped in self. And that's what my real big testimony is. God liberated me. He did. God in his goodness. So we'll talk again. Yeah, we'll talk again. Yeah, we'll talk again. Yeah. We're making snippets are just our storage and it cuts off. Then we can't use yeah. it. That's what we're doing. But this so, is Pam Lowy and, and she is my... Hebrew theologian, she's Jewish and was never raised around the right. Bible or Torah or anything at all. And uh, so she wants to know Old and New Testament, so I just let her wing it. And that's right. what we, we did today. Wing, wing it. So uh, tune in next time. Tune in next time for <laughs> another part of Tabo DRC. So whatever. Okay. This is what we're doing to let people know I'm human. God bless. Bye bye. Yeah.